This is the Coronation Podcast. Do you know that the average Nigerian worker retires without enough savings to sustain their desired lifestyle? Welcome to the Coronation Podcast series, where we discuss issues that affect you and your financial future. My name is Ishema Uba, Product Manager at Coronation Asset Management. Today, we'll focus on retirement planning and how mutual funds can be a powerful tool in achieving your retirement goals. Starting this conversation with me on today's episode is Yemi Shoneye, Chief Operating Officer at Coronation Asset Management. Yemi has almost three decades of experience in strategy and corporate policy, leadership, business development, business operations, and organizational growth. His expertise in areas like trading strategies, fixed income fund management, and team leadership makes him uniquely qualified to guide us through the intricacies of retirement planning using mutual funds. Together, we'll be discussing the importance of early retirement planning, how and what to consider when building a retirement portfolio, how to incorporate mutual funds into your retirement portfolio, and how to manage your retirement portfolio as a whole. So whether you're just starting your career or approaching retirement age, this episode will provide invaluable insights to help you secure your financial future. It's a pleasure having you here, Yemi. Thank you, Ishama, for such an introduction. Um, And it's a pleasure for me to be here to discuss such an important topic, Um, especially, you know, when, you know, retirement plan is overlooked. I think most people think they can keep on walking on and on and have the same energy as they started of their career in their youth to the very end uh, without thinking that, look, somewhere along the line, they would not earn as much as they used to earn and they would not have as much energy uh, to keep on, to have the capacity to earn more. So, I mean, it's such an important time to discuss a topic like this so that people can plan early enough and have a fulfilling time beyond active working lives. Thank you once again, Ishama. Absolutely. I absolutely agree, Yemi. So just to get right into it, let's start by discussing the importance of early retirement planning. Given the current economic um, climate in Nigeria, why is it so important to start planning retirement early? Yeah, so it's important to start retirement plan early enough, you know, for so many reasons, just as you are due Um, There's current economic downturn, um, but, you know, there will be economic cycles and economic upheavals here and there. Um, You have down cycles, you have the upsides of the economy. Um, So the best thing to do is to plan retirement early enough, you know, when you've just started off your career. And that makes it easy and convenient, you know, to put um, some kind of funds away. Um, for a desired lifestyle that you will want at the end of your career when you eventually retire. So starting early enough um, enables you to hedge against future economic challenges. And I think the best time to start is really now, uh, no matter where you are in your uh, retirement journey. Thank you, Yemi, for that explanation. I totally agree with this, Yemi. And it is very, very important to start planning retirement very early and even more important to have a very solid retirement plan. What would you say are some of the benefits of having a very good retirement plan? An astute retirement plan actually gives you peace of mind. And that type of financial security that you do require, it helps you to visualize the kind of life you will want to live post-retirement and take actionable steps to achieve such goals. Um, So really, the whole benefit of planning your retirement is to give you peace of mind when you've gone beyond um, your active working days. Peace of mind truly is very, very important for every human being and financial security as well. Since we're looking at mutual fund as a cornerstone for retirement, What makes mutual funds a good choice for retirement planning? Um, So mutual funds, um, maybe I should first of all go into mutual funds 101. 
um, for the benefits of those who may not know what mutual funds are. Um, mutual funds essentially is an investment vehicle that pulls money from multiple investors to buy a variety of financial instruments such as stocks, bonds, and other securities. It allows individual investors to gain exposure to a professionally managed portfolio and potentially benefit from economics of skills while spreading risk across multiple investments. Uh, by this, what it means is that an average investor can gain exposure to what you know an institutional or an or a high net worth individual do have by you know engaging the services of a professional fund manager through investments in mutual funds. Now, why are mutual funds good for retirement? I think it offers, you know, several benefits, um, such as, you know, diversification of investments, um, ease of liquidity, and by by investing in mutual funds, you know, uh, as I said earlier, you gain exposure to a portfolio that is well-managed by a professional fund manager and you know from that you stand the chance to benefit from a whole lot of um, opportunities and benefits um, of a professionally managed um, investments. Thank you for that Yemi. I think that was a very very important thing to do to first um, enlighten our listeners and give them an idea of what mutual funds are in the first instance and I know that the power of compound interest comes to play in mutual funds. Can you please elaborate on this concept as it relates to mutual funds and its impact on retirement savings? No doubt, compounding effects um, of interest definitely, you know, plays a huge advantage, you know, in amplifying your investments. And um, the typical, atypical mutual funds that, you know, uh, we can use as an example um, of getting the most benefit of compounding interest is the money market fund. Um, so the money market fund, for instance, is one of the offerings of Coronation Assets uh, Management Limited. Uh, with a money market fund, uh, what you can do is such that, you know, you make regular contributions um, um, to the mutual fund and then, you know, you earn interest on this mutual fund, which is compounded, you know, on a quarterly basis. Now, just to give a typical example of how you can amplify your investments through the use of mutual funds. Uh, Let's take a young professional who is in his early, early career, you know, perhaps in his early 20s, that starts investing in the money market fund, especially the Coronation Money Market Fund, and starts with an investment of 10,000 Naira every month. Contributes this 10,000 Naira diligently every month and his interest is compounded every quarter for the next 30 years. What happens is that even though this guy has just been making a contribution of 10,000 Naira per month, at the end of 30 years, the investment value is as much as 215 million. Um, But you know, when you, you tell someone, come and make an investment of 215 million, in his early 20s, except you're a trust fund baby. You are likely to say, no, it is not possible. But making small investments consistently over a very long time would ensure that, you know, and then um, gaining the power of compounding interest will ensure that, you know, you have what I call an amplified investment valuation at the end of the investment horizon. Yemi, I really like the way you have explained this carefully and broken it down. I'm sure if anyone had explained this to me, maybe at the start of my career, I would have started investing a long time ago because it always seems like you need to be ready and have everything set before you can start investing. So thank you so much for that very clear illustration. I believe it gives our listeners a picture of what is achievable and also highlights the importance of starting early. We have discussed mutual funds so far as a cornerstone of retirement. And I'm sure we're wondering at this point, how do you actually build a retirement portfolio using mutual funds? Um, Building a retirement portfolio using mutual funds, sometimes initially may sound a little bit complicated to an average person. But, you know, we can break it down into some simple steps. One, 
I think it's very, very important to understand where you are in your retirement journey. And I think where you are in your retirement journey will help you identify which mutual funds is appropriate for you to put your funds to. So let's look at a um, typical um, young professional in his 20s who is very early in planning his retirement journey. Um, hopefully this person has up to 20, 30, almost 40 years to work before retirement. And so that kind of person can actually take on a portfolio of mutual funds that is high in terms of uh, the kind of risk that has been taken. Um, so a mutual fund that has that is exposed to a high level of equity would be something of interest to this young professional. But for a mid professional um, who you know has done quite a number of years, not close to retirement, but you know uh, maybe has almost about um, fifteen to twenty years to retirement, will be thinking of a portfolio that is balanced between equities and fixed income instruments. Um, this kind of investor will be interested in, in, in you know investing in something like what. Uh, we call the Coronation Balance Fund, you know, which gives almost a balanced exposure to both equity investments and liquid fixed income investments. Now, for someone who is a late career person, who is maybe about five to ten years out to retirement, uh, for that person, because retirement is quite close, uh, that person may not be able to take uh, the kind of um, high risk or moderate risk, you know, that a young professional or, a, you know, a mid-level professional would take. So that person would be extremely conservative in his approach. And such persons would only be interested in putting his funds towards mutual funds that are highly liquid, that are, you know, de-risked and um, offers um, something of a preservation to the principal invested, such as, you know, um, the Coronation Money Market Fund. So that person who is late in his career will be investing in mutual funds like you know, the Coronation Money Market Fund just to balance, you know, the outlook to his conservative approach and the fact that, you know, he's near to when um, uh, his retirement is going to be achieved. So. Uh, depending on where you are in your career and what your retirement objectives are, there is quite a variety of mutual funds that you can use to help you build your retirement portfolio. That is very interesting. You have carefully broken it down into the age group and where the person is currently in their career and how far away they are from retirement. In addition to that, what other factors should people consider when selecting the mutual fund for, for retirement planning? Thank you, Ishama. I, I think, you know, this question is also similar to um, the kind of um, question we explained earlier and the kind of strategy that, you know, people should adopt um, when, you know, building a retirement portfolio. I, I think um, two things, a couple of things I will emphasize once again is um, it's important to know where you are in your retirement journey. When do you plan to retire and how do you like to live post-retirement? And that will determine the kind of mutual funds that you invest in. Um, and that also determines how much you put towards um, your consistent savings. Um, just as I explained earlier, um, someone who um, is conservative in his approach, who has just a few years left to go, um, would invest in highly liquid mutual funds investments such as the Coronation Money Market Fund. As someone who is balanced in his approach and probably have a little bit more years to go, um, maybe about 15 to 20 years, we want to take a kind of a balanced approach and then invest in um, something like, you know, the Coronation Balance Fund or the Coronation um, Fixed Income Fund um, for the purpose of his retirement. Uh, whereas somebody who is an early um, career person, somebody who is just starting, can take, you know, a significant risk and invest in mutual funds uh, whose portfolio construct has significant exposure 
to equities and highly, you know, liquid um, financial instruments. All right. Thank you for that, Yemi. You know, you mentioned it depends on where the, the retirement goal. But the thing is, I think a lot of people do have challenges. Personally, I do. I had some challenges with some misconceptions about investing as a whole. And I'm sure there are, some of our listeners also have these misconceptions about investing. So what are the common misconceptions about mutual funds in particular that people should be aware of? Well, I think there are quite a number of misconceptions, you know, about investments, just as you said, and the mutual funds um, specifically. And a lot of them, but maybe we'll enumerate just a few. Um, there are misconceptions about the fact that you need to be financially sophisticated um, to invest in mutual funds. Um, there are some misconceptions that there is a huge um, entry barrier to investing in mutual funds. There's also some thoughts out there that the returns on mutual funds is always guaranteed. Um, in some instances, to people say mutual funds are high risk, and in some instances, people say mutual funds is risk free. Um, to a very large extent, this myth about mutual funds is essentially demystified um, through uh, the fact that mutual funds are managed by professionally trained and licensed fund managers such as, you know, the Coronation Assets Management Limited. And exposing your investments, exposing your funds or exposing yourself to a well-trained and licensed fund manager such as Coronation Assets Management Limited removes the requirements for sophistication on part of the investor. And also, the entry level um, to mutual funds is quite low. So, for instance, most of our funds, um, you can enter with as low, all the funds that I've mentioned, the balance fund, the money market fund, the fixed income fund, um, all offered by Coronation Assets Management Limited. Um, you can invest with as low as 10,000 Naira and contribute you know, an additional 5,000 Naira at your convenience, you know, through quite a number of our channels, both digital channels and, you know, channels that have been offered by quite a number of our partners. Now, that demystifies all the thoughts around the fact that, um, you know, mutual funds are sophisticated and you need a large amount of money to, to do, uh, to invest in mutual funds. Also, regarding um, the high risk or whether mutual funds are low risk, um, that is also um, uh, negated by the fact that, you know, you invest in the mutual funds that is in alignment with the kind of risk tolerance that you have as an investor. And I think I'd explained that earlier. Um, the kind of risk that each investor is ready to take dictates the type of mutual funds investments that, you know, the investor puts his money to. But, you know, I think on the overall, the investor should feel comfortable that one, the fund manager is licensed and trained to ensure that, you know, the variety of investment that the mutual funds pool is put to is such that, you know, it is done in the overall interest of the investor. Uh, so definitely, while there are quite a number of myths out there, you know, it's many of such myths are really not true. And um, the investor should feel comfortable that, you know, mutual funds managers such as Coronation Asset Management Limited not only have trained professionals, but are, you know, regulated uh, by, you know, the Securities and Exchange Commission to ensure that, you know, investors' funds are protected. Very, very enlightening response, Yemi. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I believe that has really, really addressed a lot of misconceptions around the mutual funds. But I think in addition to that, there is also the challenge of market fluctuations. I think this is a concern for a lot of people when considering investing. But in addition to having a professional fund manager handling everything, I think people still have this fear of market fluctuations. How can people stay invested during this period of market fluctuations? So thank you very much, Informa. You know, so when you're asking that question, something that came to my mind is that there's always the likelihood that the weather is not going to uh, be favorable um, for people to move around. Sometimes there's a prediction that it's going to rain, that there's a prediction that it's going to be extremely sunny. So should we not go out because 
of the weather outlook? Absolutely not. So there will always be economic downtown, downturns. There will be instances where there will be a boom. But then I think for the investor, it is important to know that while all these things exist, um, economic downturns and, you know, maybe economic uh, prosperity, um, it is important to just have this outlook that um, I'll have a long-term outlook to investment. And if I have a long-term outlook to investment, then over the long term, I will reap the aggregated gains over that long period. And, you know, for an investor who is invested in mutual funds, you know, you can also trust that, you know, you are putting your investments in the hands of a reliable and trained fund manager such that, you know, um, the fund manager will ensure that your investments are professionally managed to reap the most gains during economic booms and then to get modest gains or to preserve your investments during economic downturn. So, uh, sincerely, because there are fluctuations out there doesn't mean you should not invest. Um, you just trust your investment to the hands of a professional to ensure that, you know, your, your interest is well taken care of, you know, over the long term. Thank you. Thank you. Um, from what you have said, the key is basically having a trusted fund manager, such as Coronation Assets Management Limited. That is wonderful. Very, very wonderful. So we're rounding up shortly, and it has been an insightful session with you today discussing how we can utilize mutual funds as a tool for retirement planning. But before you go, I know you have highlighted some of these already, but for our listeners, can you highlight the key takeaways from today's session that you want our listeners to keep in mind? Yeah, thank you very much, Ishaman. I think the session has been very refreshing for me um, as well. And, and I think some of the key takeaways um, that I want listeners to take along with them is the fact that, you know, it's better to start retirement planning early. It's good to envision how your retirement will be. What kind of life do you want to live during retirement? And then set up goals and then you can use the mutual funds to enable you fulfill your goals. And it's just in addition to starting early uh, with the mutual funds, you know that you can take convenient steps, you know, in convenient and consistent steps, you know, in planning your retirement. Uh, it's important to understand your kind of risk tolerance and ensure that the type of investments that you are making aligns with your ultimate retirement goals. Um, so for me, Ishama, it's been a very refreshing experience and um, I really appreciate, you know, being on this um, session with you. Thank you so, so much, Yemi, for joining us on the Coronation podcast series and sharing your expertise and illuminating insights. I believe this will serve as a catalyst to our listeners to start their retirement planning journey early and consider using mutual funds for this purpose. Today, we have explored the importance of early retirement planning and how mutual funds can be a powerful tool, from understanding the law of compound interest to building a diversified investment portfolio. We have also covered key strategies for a successful retirement. By following these principles and incorporating mutual funds in your financial plan, you can take a significant step towards achieving your retirement goals and enjoying a comfortable future. So our dear listeners, are you considering starting your retirement plan? Coronation Assets Management has experienced fund managers with a proven track record of delivering consistent returns. You can request to speak with a financial advisor by sending a mail via crc at coronationam.com. That is crc at coronationam.com. Or fill a form on our website, www.coronation.ng. You can also download the Coronation Wealth app to start investing in the different Coronation mutual funds. Don't forget to subscribe to our podcast and connect with us on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn and X at coronation.ng to stay connected for more financial insights. Remember, wealth creation is a journey and Coronation is your prosperity partner. We are here to guide you every step of the way. Thank you for listening to this episode of Coronation's podcast. Until next time, stay informed and invest wisely. This has been the Coronation Podcast. Thank you for listening.